All right, what's up everyone? Welcome to this video. Sorry if the camera is like angled a little bit to the side. Uh, my dash isn't flat and I had to try to find a spot where it wouldn't fall over. But um, I'm just gonna go out right now. It's Friday, I didn't work today. Um, just for the holidays now that it's New Year's weekend. I'm also not gonna work on Monday, which is nice. I have like a few days off and just kind of chill out. I'm just gonna go check out some areas in LA, um, check some stores out, just kind of hang out. I've been thinking like a cool video idea, which I might try right now with this video. It's just like a five minute vlog. And then that'll just be like on a average day out, um, checking some stores out and like the clothes I'm wearing and stuff like that. I also have like a, I was planning on putting out like a 2023 pickups video just because I've gotten a few things off like the SN sale and stuff. I don't want to make it seem like I'm just buying stuff all the time because I do definitely sell like a lot of the clothes that I get over. So that's kind of usually what I do. I'd like, I'll either sell two things and I can bring in two things sell three things, bring in two things. So at the end of it all, I just try to have less things than I had before. But um, I try to like recover most of the money that I spent by selling the other clothes that I'm getting rid of. And that's also a big reason why I like, why I'm like willing to pay more for clothes, as long as it's gonna hold its value and it's like good quality. Cause then at, at that point, you can kind of try to recover a lot of the money that you spent on the clothing when you sell it. Um, so that can be with like brands, some brands hold a lot of value, um, some specific clothing items hold a lot of value, things like that. So just take into account, I'd say, when you're buying clothes, like little things like that, if you want to try to sell them in the future when you get tired of wearing them. All right, so I just pulled up to Arts District right now. Um, this is like the first area I'm gonna go. I'm just walk around a little bit. Um, but I'm gonna check out this one store. It's called Hatchet Outdoor Supply. And uh, they have like a store in Brooklyn also and one in Japan. And uh, in-store they have less things than they do online because like online they sell capital and stuff like that. But it's still like a nice store to check out so I'm just gonna go check this out right now and uh, see what they got. All right, so I hit up that store, um, Hatchet Outdoor Supply Go. They have like some Japanese brands and stuff, like engineered garments, um, Menace Dash, which is like an outdoorsy kind of brand. And then just like a few other sweet things. I think the store is pretty interesting, so I'd definitely check it out um, if you're in the area. Um, I ended up just getting two pairs of socks, wool red wing socks, and then I also got these like red wool socks because I'm in need of some socks. So I'm just gonna head to Highland Park now and uh, kind of cruise around there a little bit.
I just wanted to quickly show what I'm wearing um, today. So I'm just wearing on top like a 70s or 80s Wrangler jacket that has a like blanket lining on the inside. I love like old blanket lined denim jackets, they're like super sweet. And then uh, I just have some Indigo Farah black, black jeans on and then my Vism DeSoto boots on. So I'm just gonna head home now. Hope that I got enough footage in those stores. Um, those are like some of my favorite stores in Los Angeles for sure. Um, and then I'll link them like their locations also in this video. And then at this last store that I went to, which was Western Gifts, um, I got like a sweet old United Colors of Benetton uh, sweater. It's just like a little basic sweater that I'll show when I get back home, but it's made in Italy, which is cool. 